Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome to my review of One Piece Chapter 2. They call him Straw Hat Luffy. So this is the first real chapter of the of the manga where it really kind of shows you, oh hey, this is who Luffy is now. He's become a strong, independent kind of idiot as he's gotten older, but you know what? He still has a good heart. Anyway, the volume begins with Luffy basically set sail and realizing, man, what a great day. Too bad it ends already. And then the camera kind of zooms over and we see a giant whirlpool about to suck in his ship. Huh. Anyway, Luffy's trying to real figure out what to do, but then he thinks, oh hey, I can't swim anyway, but a giant whirlpool, it doesn't matter, you're going to die anyway. Oh well. And then he kind of goes down the drink. Anyway, we then cut ahead to that of a different pirate ship somewhere else nearby. Uh, the captain of this ship is Captain Alveda, the most beautiful pirate of the seven seas, and the fairest maiden of all the land. She's incredibly powerful and is able to kill people with one strike of her iron mace. And she's very insistent that her ship not only be incredibly clean, but also that everyone refer to her as the fairest in the land. Even though, ironically, she's not. Not only is she incredibly ugly, but she's also incredibly much of a jerk. Really not caring about anyone else except for herself. So, yeah, not really the fairest in the land. Anyway, it's at this point we see just how much of a jerk she really is. Beating up her own crew when they mess up her ship, and they don't clean it just right, and overall just being a tyrant, really. We then kind of head to that the real new character for this chapter, Kobe. A young cabin boy who finds a barrel washed up on shore. Doesn't know what it is, but he's kind of treated like crap on the crew. Anyway, he takes us to the storage unit where three of the pirates are there waiting. They're just kind of hanging out, and they go, Ah, bottle of rum, huh? Let's crack this thing up and drink, huh? They threaten Kobe not to tell, but the captain makes sense. And then out of nowhere, Luffy pops out of, up out of nowhere going, Man, what a great nap! And everyone just kind of like, Why, why is there a guy in a barrel? What's going on? Anyway, Luffy's just kind of like, well, where am I? What are you? Who are you guys? And they want to know who he is. But anyway, he and anyway, Luffy and Kobe end up meeting one another and kind of get along, and end up leaving right before Alveda comes up by and smashes the higher storage shed, wondering who had such a great nap. It's then they find out that Kobe's a traitor. Well, traitor because he ended up bringing Luffy in the barrel, but he still didn't know. Anyway, cut it back to Luffy and Kobe talking, and Luffy asks him if he has a ship he can borrow to get back on the sea. Kobe shows him this really kind of beat up little wreck of a ship, and he goes, I've been working on it for about two years now, but I don't have the courage of trying to escape. We also find out that apparently two years ago he accidentally got on the wrong ship to go fishing, and that's why he's the cabin boy. They're just sparing his life so that he, because he has knowledge of the sea. Huh. It's at this point Luffy says that, wow. You're a wimp and an idiot. Yeah. Coming from Luffy, that's... Yeah. Anyway, they get to talking a little bit, and then Kobe asks Luffy what he'd want to see. Luffy tells him, I wanted to become the king of the pirates. And he's not afraid to die. Kobe then realizes, uh, huh, why live your life in fear when you can just do something? If, you, if something fails, at least you tried, you know? Anyway, it's at this point, however, that Elva that comes by smashes Kobe's dinghy he made all up, destroying two years of work. It's at this point that she asks him, she'll, she'll let him stay as long as he apologizes and hands over Luffy. Anyway, she asks him who's the fairest and most beautiful of all the land, and Kobe realizes, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to be a man. And he says that Alvada's the ugliest hag he's ever seen! This doesn't bode well, and then she decides that she's going to use the Iron Mace on him. Lo and behold, Luffy realizes this is a great thing that Kobe finally stood up for himself. Gets him out of the way, takes the hit full on, doesn't feel a thing. So, ha! Made a rubber! It's at this point that he ends up beating the crap out of Alvada with one punch. And that is the gum gum pistol. And everyone's terrified because she was superhuman strength already, and this guy just beat her in one punch. 
Luffy orders them to give Kobe and him a dinghy so they can set off to sea. They agree. On the way, after as they're leaving, and near the end of the chapter, uh, Kobe asks Luffy, Do you think I have, like, the courage? I want to join the Navy. To which Luffy responds, Really? And he's like, I know we'd be enemies, but I want to fight the bad guys. I want to become justice. And Luffy agrees, so they decide to head off to the closest naval base. But there's someone waiting there that they're trying to find. A bounty hunter that Alvin I was talking about earlier in the chapter, named Roanoa Zolo. So, they head off to try and find him and get Kobe into the Navy. Well, that was chapter two. And with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to take a look at chapter three. Take care.